Okay, now you can. Okay. Uh, hold on. You are hosting. open a PowerPoint. <clears throat> you, you all can see my screen, right? Uh, you can hear me? Again. You can hear me, right? Yes, yes. Okay. okay. So back to where I was talking. So till now, you know, first, second, third, fourth class, you know, we have been learning about uh, what we do in HTML. You know, we were like learning about, you know, whenever we code, you know, what uh, what impact we get. You know, for example, when you make something bold, you know, the text becomes bold. So today we're gonna do something very different. Okay. So for example, when you're writing an English essay, you know. So you write everything neat and clean, you know, you don't write like, you know, no, you need to repeat last class. Yeah, I, I will. Yeah. Okay. I will uh, that never, right? I do that. Never and anyway. How to put in yes, okay. So today we're going to like learn, I'm going to teach you how to, you know, neatly uh, set your uh, like codes, you know, so when like someone sees your codes, they can understand what you're doing. Otherwise, you know, when I, whenever I'm doing something, no one can understand. So today we're going to learn that and read them out. So let's just get started. Okay. So I have noticed that some people were having some doubts uh, in the navbar. So I'm going to just recap the navbar thing. Okay. Uh, some images, some people were having doubts. Ryan was having doubts. So, you know, this is what you're going to do. So let me just start by first uh, telling you how do you make a navbar. Okay. So let me just uh, restart like from the beginning. Get rid of this. Just um, uh, we need an image, so make a folder on C drive. C drive, okay. Um, I actually don't have any images. Also. Okay, first of all, uh, we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna show you something uh, which everyone was having doubts. Uh, the doubt you were guys having was like, uh, one minute, first I'll Make the my folder which has okay. I'm gonna make this uh, folder in the you know in that uh, in my C C drive because it's easier to get from there. So I I just convert this folder to C drive. Card okay. Uh, C drive. Should I do indeed? Okay. Let me just create a new folder. Okay. Create a new folder and I'm gonna paste the work over here. Okay. Okay, so I got the folder in the C drive, you know. But the reason I did that because some people were getting confused on where I was. So I want everyone, whenever we give you a project or anything, uh, I want everyone to make a folder in uh, like C drive and make a HTML5 folder. And when, whenever we give you any assignment, I want to see the assignment in the C drive, okay? So that's clear. So let me get, uh, get into talk, okay. 
So what the what the people had doubt was like how do you get the image and put it in the folder? So uh, I think my dad didn't cover that. Uh, so I, I I'll cover that. Okay. So let me just uh, I need a navbar picture because you know I I'm teaching right now how to make a navbar. So let me just open this uh, folder just to show you what we're trying to do here. Okay. Folder is open for me. Okay. Folder. So I'll open this folder in the C drive that I made right now. C5. Okay. And we're here. Okay. Yeah. So what I want to teach you right now is some people got confused, you know. Right, how do we make you know a navbar? So I want to teach you again. How do we make a navbar? We already know how to make a text based navbar. So I'm gonna teach you how to make a navbar with images. That means like when you have a navbar, it will have images. So for that, I'm gonna start. Uh, uh, I'll search for a button picture so that we can put it inside in, uh, uh, in the nav bar. So I'll search for the button picture. I'll just take this as like you know reference is just for you know take this one here. Okay. Just take this one. Okay, I can't find it. I'll just take this as a reference. Uh, okay. I'll just take this picture and then I'm gonna save it. So what I did first is just right clicked on it, you know, I clicked on the right click. And then I said, uh, I'll show you again what I mean. I right click here. I said, save. Let me just get one, one minute. Get that picture. So, okay. Um, a transparent picture. So, okay, now we have a transparent picture. So, I'm just going to choose one. I'll choose this one. Okay. So, what I did right now, I'm going to right click. Okay. I'm gonna right click after right click. I want to say save image as okay. After you click that save image as as, then then what you do is you go in the folder that you uh, that I have saved on. So for example in the Windows C, this is my this is my folder. So I'm gonna save it here. I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna save here. Okay. So when I do that, it automatically saves. And when this thing comes, it means you are you're already you set to go. And yeah, I so now I have a folder. Okay. So now we're back to how to build an app for you know an image map for which have an image instead of text okay so let me get rid of this first okay start basics okay first thing i will have to do is give edge up because whenever you're making a Navbar, we already told you know, like HRF is something which links it from everywhere. 
So this is how we like make a nav bar and I'm just I don't actually have some somewhere to link it. So I'll not do it now. Uh, I just add an image. Uh, Give it the source uh, from where's so my name of my images from from dash button dash mg that dot png so dot png and okay this one okay and then I close the source okay and um okay let's go so okay so right now if I go and copy path now Before IMG, there is a type, type the driver, and the IMG is a type. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I kept in an extra time by mistake. Okay. So, so I refresh it now. I have to take one image from here. Something like that. Uh, okay. There's a problem in the image. Okay, so now you see, I think I, I made a mistake from here. Okay, so now you can see what I did right now. I added a href. Okay, so what 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 mistake I did was like instead of writing, you know, a separate tags. I added the image in the same tag, so that was a mistake that I did. So my bad. So what you have to do to get like an image inside there, you have to make a make like two tags, one for href, which you already know, like which makes you know, uh, which we need to link it, and then we need to make another tag for images, which uh, which we need uh, for the image. Get rid of this. Uh, Okay. Okay. Now you can see if you come on that. And you see I got the image, okay? And uh, it's clickable. So you can see right. How is it clickable? It's because of this href. And the href is something which makes it clickable. So as you can see here right now, when I click it here, uh, it, it's actually clickable. So you know it's clickable. But if I get rid of it, like this, if I get rid of it, then it's not going to be clickable because you know it's going to become a normal image that means it's not going to be a button so for that you have to just make href you have to make use of href so that's how you import an image so first you make uh, take a take a href tag and then you make a new take another tag called image and then you link it together that's how you get the image so you know okay. Okay. 
you can see it right now it works okay so i'm gonna just copy this like four times so we get like a nav bar i'm just using this image because i found this but you can use the image you know like which a nav bar have you know home like you can use home uh, about us contact us page you can find the images here so right now i i couldn't find it so i just i'm just gonna duplicate this image okay duplicate this okay and now you see you see we kind of have a nav bar but now we have to make it smaller so how do i make it smaller i i will do a style so we put a style over here by the way you have to put a style in this tag because you have to do the image, not the href. You have to, you know, make the style for HR, uh, the image. So for that, I'll uh, give it a width, okay? Because whenever you want to do that, you know, whenever you want to um, change the size of a size of an image, uh, image, you have to do height and width. And whenever you want to change the size of, you know, the font, uh, or you know, a font or something, then you have to use for a uh, a font weight okay font weight or uh, font size okay i'm gonna use height so maybe i want the height okay height and height to be pixel okay maybe that's too much i will get 10 and then i want the width to be I found the issue. We have to make it outside because okay. Now there's uh, one more thing we actually forgot to tell you is that you know width and height actually works uh, inside a tag. So you don't need a style to you know like specify uh, like when you have an image, you can't you don't it's like uh, you can't use a, a style to you know make it smaller. So uh, HTML makes it easier that you can automatically write width. So that means you know you can automatically write width and it's gonna become uh, smaller. So for that, why they introduced this feature was because you know whenever you have an image, you have to make it smaller, right? So people had to go to style and then they had to write width and that height. Uh, so that that time they you know they used to that, that used to be a lengthy process. But now from the new update in this uh, this browser over here. Uh, they updated HTML5, so now instead of writing a style and all that stuff again and again, you can automatically just write like this. You know, like instead of writing all of that, you can just write width. But that only works with the width and height, so that makes it more easier. So I just wanted to show you that if I do that, it's not gonna work. So I'm gonna use height. I'm gonna say 10 pixel, and now it should work. You see, you see this one over here? It became very small. So I'll just make it something like 50, I guess. 50. Okay, 50. I think 50 looks uh, good for the number. Maybe I'll I'll snap scratch it, scratch it a little bit. Something like that. And okay, looks good. And that's not good. And now we keep it. Okay, let's um 70. Okay. 70 keep it okay that looks good i think okay and by the way i'm not making this look good you know i'm just making you know you know making you understand what i'm trying to do hope you guys are with me and you're understanding how do i make you know a, a nav bar okay and i do that for all and you can see it automatically comes you know I, what i did right now is I made a edge of tag, you know, which you do for you usually what you do for linking something. Uh, I hope everyone knows that, you know, uh, uh, if some people are confused, I think uh, safe, you will be confused about that, but don't worry, I'll teach you. But uh, HRF is something which you used to link. Uh, I hope we, we have we had covered this in two classes. So I hope you guys know that. So what we're trying to do is inside the HRF, we're trying to put an image. So that's what we're trying to do. Usually, when we were trying to do that, when we when, what we taught you is like href, and then you know you put a link there somewhere, and then we used to close it off, and we used to get this like something like that, like that. Okay, so we used to put a text. You see, like this, we used to put a text. But now instead of the text, what you're trying to do is putting an image. 
So for doing an image, what we do is we make another tab, which we call image. Instead of like putting the text over there, like the text that what I wrote right now, instead of like writing like this, what we do is we make another tab called image, okay? And we put it a source like this. And after that, we close the tab, okay? Like automatically becomes, you know, uh, an image. And then, you know, you can copy this over to this. We are like the same image, you know, or you can also write it. I'm going to write it to make you more say, if you write it, start writing, it's already going to come. So this is what I'm trying to teach you. And when I do this, uh, the thing is going to become very big. So this thing becomes big. So I'm, I want to change the size. So how do I do that? I was going to do with style, but I told you in HTML5 that they had a new feature that now instead of writing style, you can change the width uh, and height uh, of a tag. Uh, by just writing width and height so that only works for width and height you don't have to write styles because you know uh, many people you know change the size of an image from width and height so you don't have to write go in the style and over and over again if you this. so i'm just going to copy this or i'm going to teach you again what i did i just did width okay width 60 pixels and then also height is going to be height height is going to be 50 pixels okay that's what i did and you see it becomes like okay now now you know make it a little bit nicer what do i do remember we taught you hr lines you know at the lines which used to be separated i don't know if you want to put that you can put that but i don't like it like i don't like like the lines right now but you can use that if you want but it makes my number look ugly so i don't use it so you can see right now if i refresh it have a line but I don't want the line, you know, I don't like it a lot. So what I'll do is I'll make this thing go in the, what I'll do is that I'll make this thing go in the right and I give some space behind it. Okay. So how do you do that? Okay. So let me teach you how do you do that. For that, you need to use style because uh, th this thing was only implemented for width and height, not for, not for padding. So I already taught you what is padding, right? Padding is something like that. Padding is used for something to move it, you know. When I say padding to right, it's gonna move left. Uh, and when I say padding to left or uh, to right. So what does padding actually does is like, you know, padding moves something, okay. But when you say right, it goes actually left. And when you say left, it's right. Uh, so the thing about that is padding does thing, this thing. For example, when I say go to right, right? When, when I say go to right, so the padding is over here. So that's why it goes there. And when I say go left, the padding is going here, not there. So it goes, uh, it goes like left. The padding is over here, but it looks like that. Simple words. What I'm trying to say is, when you say padding right, it goes left. Uh, the image goes left, and when you say padding left, the image goes to the right. So like this, I'll show you. So I'll just say padding. What I'll do is do for this one because this is the image I want. So this is the image is here. So I'll do it here. Okay. I'll say style padding left you know why because i'll actually so i'll do padding left i'll do 10 pixel 20 pixel something like that. 20 pixel just to show you okay so when i do padding left what is it doing is it making over here it's giving padding over here not here so that simple words when you say right it goes left you need to say left it goes right so that that's uh hopefully that's clear for you so you know i i said left you thought it's gonna be this go where it goes here so i'll make it go 200 uh, okay no, uh, make it go 500 500 okay it's about where i want it but a little bit more a little bit more and yeah, that's about it. That's, uh, make it a little bit more. Oops, okay. So it broke the line. So let me just go a little bit. Um, something like uh, 60, I think. 60, I think. Okay, so I make it go. Uh, 
he goes a little bit so I just make it 10 uh, or make it uh, 7 so it goes a little bit more ok I think that's about it let me make it more ok that's about I want so now I want to make this also come here so I'll just do the same thing so I'll just uh, do the style padding left I'll make it this one and make it a bit small so maybe we'll make it you know um, make this one thousand percent and see okay that's a bit too much so I'll make it 800 Okay, so now what the glitch is there is because whenever I'm putting like padding over here, map doesn't do anything. No. I'll teach that in the div. I'll teach that. Okay. So the problem right now is that when I'm like going over here. This thing already has a padding, right? I the padding of this thing is like here right now because I covered the space over here. So the best thing to do is, is this, what you do is, I'm purposely trying to, you know, make some files so that, you know, you can understand because when you do these files, uh, so that time you will not understand what you're trying to do. So what I'm trying to say is this, when I give like, you know, this one over here, so there, there's some space right over here. So there was like some space over here. So whenever whenever I make this thing go here, and whenever it attacks, it attacks the space over here. So this thing comes automatically down. So that means it's taking up the space because this over here nav bar, this thing over here is taking the space, like full space over here. So because I gave it a thousand pixel uh, length, that's why it took some space over here. So whenever I put like go here, so it, it's interacting with the space. So what it does, it uh, this image comes automatically down. So it's like pushing effect. Uh, now I hope you understand. So the simple way to solve that is do that by style. So what do you do? I, I, I'll make this go over here. So automatically all it will take all of it with itself over here. So let me show you what I'm trying to do. Uh, I'll give it a padding left. Padding left. I put like a thousand pixels, okay? Pixels. Okay. See, now it's working, okay? Now you see it automatically, all of them comes like this. So isn't that great now? Okay. Uh, make it a little bit more. And yeah, that's about it. That's I love this. Okay. So now what I'll try to do is give some little little gaps over here. For that, uh, I will do is I just make this go. So what do I do next? And I'm gonna give the little little gaps here. So what, for that, what do I do? I'll make this go padding right. I already told you what it means. When I say right, it means left. So I, I, what I'll do is give like some padding over here, so it goes here. Give some padding here. For that, I say padding, padding right. So I say padding right a little bit. Padding right. Uh, I just only give it a little because I need a little, not, not too much. So you, you see here, like this is concentrate here. You know, whenever I refresh, see there's gonna be some little. You see, became a little gap here. And that's about who, what I want, okay? Okay. I was actually, uh, I'm just gonna, yeah. So,
So I'm also going to give here padding right 10 pixel. And I think there's going to be uh, a, a doubt over here. I, I'll, I'll tell you. Not a doubt, but I think there's going to be some problem. I think. I think they, they're going to interfere again. I hope not, but I think they will. So I'll teach you what to do after that. So yeah, you see this thing interfered with that. So what I can do is, you know, instead of thousand, I can make this into nine hundred. Okay, yeah. So now it's okay. I have the padding between, and now I can change the length by doing very small, small. 900 something like 999 nine, nine, 990 something like that. 990 will work no it will not work uh 950 okay so hopefully you guys understood i know this this padding thing is kind of confusing but when you like start doing it by yourself you start like start to you know figure it out you're gonna start to figure it out and you know you're gonna start doing it so you know maybe right now it's confusing for you right now but when you keep on doing it it's very easy all you have to remember is when you say padding left it means you're taking the image to the right and whenever you're taking the padding right it means left okay so is there any doubt right now i made an image it's a nav bar so whenever i click here for example there's a text over here you know maybe i'll add some stuff here so what I'm telling you right now is I'll just take a lower run. Low, low run. Okay, this one. And I try try to make you understand better. So what I'm trying to say, okay? One minute. Make it how many paragraphs? Maybe ten. Okay, ten paragraphs. Generate it. And then I'll just come here and I'll let you do this. I make a P tag, P tag like that, and do that. And we just put here this thing. Make it some text. I'm gonna give it some text over here. I'm gonna say home. Okay, I'm gonna say home and I'm gonna give this an ID. Give them an ID, I'll say home ID. I say home ID. And I can give this the home over here. So I'm just yeah, I did that. I'm gonna say here hashtag because remember I told you right hashtag you have to add hashtag and if I refresh the page here. Okay. Refresh the page, there's some stuff over here. Okay, and if I click here you see it automatically comes to this home page so is that clear right now uh, we made like a nav bar with images okay so yeah so should i do the powerpoint okay okay first of all can can anyone can everyone say like they're clear right please because i want i'm looking at the chat right now please say everyone is clear okay especially Ryan. yeah Ryan, are you okay now like uh, now you understand your mistake was that you were saving the images to another folder. You were not saving the folder, which you know, which I was like, for example, you were not saving this folder. You were going to some other folder and then you were saving here. The, 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 the computer doesn't know, right? What, which, where do you want to put the image in which folder? So you have to define which folder. For example, if your folder, you know, you're working on is somewhere there. So go there, click on it and the, then save the image there. That's what am I gonna do that, okay? Okay, Dan? Okay. But well, I don't say? know how to do that. I don't know which folder the HTML is saved in. Um, don't didn't you make a folder like for when you were doing that school thing like? Uh, no, I didn't. How is that possible? You had to make a folder, right? Okay. You know what? Better what you do is you make a new folder. Okay. L listen to my advice. Okay. What you do in the Windows C, uh, you use a Mac or uh, or, or something. So in Mac also there will be a Windows C file. So what you do is there, you go there in the C file, make a HTML5 folder, okay? Make a HTML5 folder, and then make uh, another folder 
and do your work there. For example, make in like some folder, you know, maybe you can call it anything you want. I call it HTML5 class and go to your browser and then open the folder you want. Like this. Uh, I just close this folder and then what you do? Make a folder and then open the folder. Go in the C drive, HTML5 and open that folder, okay? When you open that folder, whenever you want an image, right? Whenever you want an image, you go automatically to the C file, go to HTML5 and then come here, click over here and then select this folder. It's automatically gonna come to your, the image is gonna come to your folder. Is that okay, Ryan? Okay? I'm so I may need some help on that because I don't have a- hey, Don't worry, don't worry, uh, I I'll help, don't worry. Okay. okay. So, okay, now after we're done with this now, uh, we're gonna be, going to this thing okay so remember in the starting of the lesson i told you you know you have to make your you know whenever you're doing something you know whatever you do whatever work you do you have to make it neat and clean you have to organize your course in such a way that whoever looks at it can understand like what you're doing okay for example this is where semantic tags comes in okay what are semantic tags you know Semantic tags are something which organize your uh, your organize your coding. You know, they make you organize your coding. They make you know you know like uh, they whenever you know uh, someone sees your folder, they will know automatically what what is this like what is this file for? This file is for header. This file the, this code is for header. This uh, this code is for footer. This for uh, this code is for like navbar. Because right now, what I'll show you right now is this you know. Uh, in semantic right over here. Look at this page, okay? Look at this page. This page, you know, like if I come here, I will, I will not know, you know, I'll not know what is this, like where's the footer in this, where is like the main thing in this, where's the header, where is the, you know, the footer, footer is something, you know, like which comes in the last of the page. I will not know that, you know, where I'm like new to this. Uh, I'll not know where is like, you know, where, where the, in the quotes, I'll not know where's the footer or where is, you know, any articles or anything. So for that, something comes in, which is called semantics, okay? What are they called? Semantics. Okay, so what is semantic, okay? It is used to define layouts, you know? Right now, what is this? This was one layout, right? This was one layout over here that I made right now. This is one layout, okay? And if someone comes here right now, he's not gonna know what is this, right? Only the way he will know is that uh, only he will look at my website. So when he comes to my website, it's gonna be like, you know, he is going to be over here, so he's going to know, yeah, he's going to know this, and he wants to do something in this navbar. And when he comes in the code, he's not going to know where the code is, because, you know, when you, inshallah, when you're going to start writing codes in the future, your codes are going to be very huge, and you're not going to know where your code, or like, when, where is your navbar, it's going to be somewhere there. So for that, semantics come up, okay? They have, uh, HTML have introduced something called semantics. So what did you do? They define the layout. They're defining the layout. They define this thing so i can define this thing as you know as a nav or anything so that's what they're doing so that's why we're gonna relearn this and this is very 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 important whenever i give you import uh, assignment i want you to use a semantic tags it doesn't do anything to you know practical work here you know it doesn't do anything to your website all it does is to, uh, makes your work neat and clean so this is what they, they do okay this is some examples of you know uh semantic tags okay and we're going to get through them, okay? So first one I'm going to teach you is about nav, okay? First time I'm going to teach you about nav, okay? It's very easy. So right now what I do is like, I, I don't know, you know, this is like, like I come to someone's folder. I don't know where's the nav bar. I want to do something in the nav bar. So what you do is you can define it by nav. You can put all the folder inside the nav. So, yeah, so like that. So right now, you know, when, whenever, okay. So whenever someone comes to your website now, you know, Ulala, someone coming to your website, you know, he's coming, he's looking at some, your website and he wants to do some changes, you know, because, you know, many people are gonna come and, you know, do, uh, do stuff with your website. Uh, because, you know, whenever you go to any website, you know, you can go to YouTube, you know, maybe you can go to YouTube. You can go to YouTube or here somewhere. And then there's something in YouTube. You can actually copy YouTube. Uh, yeah, you can actually do. You can actually copy YouTube. So people are gonna do that because whenever you're making a website, 
it has a source code. For example, like this. If I press right click over here and I ask uh, what is uh, I ask for inspect uh, search, uh, open uh, what is it? Okay. For example, you go here. Okay. I want to see the source. Okay. View page source. If I click here it's going to open all the codes right right now it's going to open all the codes for the youtube what it took to make youtube right now I, i'll show you so when i click on the view, uh, view wage for so you can see right they put doc lab html there right now right like that and that and that you know right now we don't understand what they're doing so this is where this thing comes out semantic tags come out okay this is when the semantic tags come out okay so whenever someone is like wants someone wants to you know maybe you made a website very good you know maybe someone wants to copy your website you know and you're allowed to do that you know anyone can do that it's no problem and they just want to make their own so they're just gonna come there i don't know it doesn't work here uh but they oh yeah it works now so they're gonna do view page source okay they can just view page source and they can see all your stuff but what's the problem is they don't know where you did the head so how are you gonna do that uh, how are you gonna make them know that this is the, the what uh, like this is the nav where's the code for nav because the the, the codes of yours is gonna be big so uh, so much big that they're not gonna know where you know your uh, your nav code is there so they want to do some change in the nav and they're not gonna know that so for that we introduced this feature called semantic okay this is what i did I added navs, so now someone, you know, he is not, uh, you know, he wants to come to my website. He loves my website, even though it's ugly. I know, he make fun of it, but he wants to copy this navbar. He loves the navbar, so he's gonna come and he's gonna do view page source. Okay, he's gonna say come view page source, and now he he wants to copy the code which I did here, so he can easily do that, and he can find it also because I said it nav, so he will automatically know that nav is here. This is the nav he wants, and nav is you know everyone should know that in english nav means this thing and he's going to copy this so that is what semantic tags are so is everyone clear with that it's no, it does nothing to you know with to a website or anything it only does something to you know to help you know the people who are just like you know take uh, your website for reference this is going to help them lo locate the course easily so that's what it does so now that was one of the course the nav one so we're going to learn about uh, more we're going to call about header uh header you know a header you already know you know like uh, something that defines the mesh head or other header inf information so html5 has introduced like sim uh, how many tags did they have they introduced they have introduced many tags so one of them are header footer article aside section and nav that we learned right now so we're gonna learn about uh six we already learned the first one the nav now the header Header is something you know is uh, is something that comes on the, your page you know something like this okay so right now you know someone is copying my code here okay they don't know what like you know what is here so okay so they will not know like uh, what what is this you know like uh, like what is this you know like where, where is the header and all that stuff so for that you can just define that so. You can just define this. Hey, uh, the someone who's com coming to my website. Hey, who's looking at my uh, code? Hey, this is the header. Okay, this is the header. This is the header for my website. Okay, I can say that. So this is what header does. And then we can say to them, yeah. Now they want to find. Uh, now they want to find. You know, they want to find the footer. So footer is at the bottom of the page. You know, the footer is something here which you which you write. You know, your email address and all that stuff. So I can tell here. Oh. Hey, hey oh, whoever you are who, who comes to my website this is the footer so this is the footer yeah, you can come here this is the footer okay okay you can see there's the footer you know and just to give you some reference uh, can I do, uh, mm, no no it's fine okay. One, make another one, so I can I can show you a difference. You know what difference it has. And 
this one I'm gonna say and I'm just gonna control A I'm gonna control V oops I'm gonna control A control control A control C control V okay so what I'm going to do right now is just get rid of this so this this website is something which just doesn't have the semantic tag okay just to show you a difference I, I just wanted to show you okay this one it doesn't have a semantic uh, tag you know it just you know it's like that it's just one it's uh, just one so now I'm gonna add yeah uh, I was adding footer so now what's the next one the next one is a site a site is something you know you know when you have some notes in your you know when you have some notes you know and some some side thing you know for example this is my note uh, my you know some note I wanted it to put in my article so I can say we can put this aside you can call it aside okay On the side you can add this here control X V this is, this is the stuff which is aside you know like which is like you know the uh, noting stuff this is like note you know and then we have this one section the section is something you know like you have a page number page one chapter one chapter two something like that so this is this is what your section this is this is what it is what is wf wwf it's like nature that word whatever so this is what it does uh, so that is this is the section so whenever someone comes to my website i can tell him hey do you want to copy the section or do you want to copy that you can easily do that it's very very easy don't mind and you don't have to do this it's just like something which I'm teaching you to make your work very neat this is something which makes your work very neat and you can also understand because maybe you did like some uh, project you know right now I'm doing this project right now and after 50 years uh, hopefully uh, if I come back I can understand what I was doing right I can understand what was this you know I could understand the side I could understand section I could understand this footer oh this was a footer okay this was the this was a place where I write you know uh, ending and all that thing so you, now you understand what I mean right so we can say header and also this one okay and you can also keep this in the in the section this also in the section now yeah, I'll show you the difference okay so one minute the uh, control X um, the reason I'm teaching you is because the very important part of programming is you need to make your work neat because if I just mash up all the things and you know it's not gonna look good and you're gonna get confused very soon that's the one of the reasons uh, like many people like struggle you know many people like struggle uh, and they find many many bugs in their you know codes because they don't make their work uh, neat and clean and that's the reason you know it doesn't it makes it you know uh, when it when you start writing in you know, a big quote it's gonna be very hard for you so that's why you have to make you have to make it very neat because when you don't start making it neat it grows it grows and it grows and then you know it's gonna become very bad uh, so let me just show you what's the difference right now so need cemetery I'm gonna copy the path so I'm gonna come here Path control V. This is the neat one. Okay, neat one, and we have another one. It's not working. Okay, neat one. This is working. Okay. Neat one. Yeah, this one is the neat one. You can see from here this is the neat one, and then we can add another one. Or this one and I'm gonna copy the path okay right now you can see it makes no difference you know the both are the same thing there's no any difference at all you know there's nothing at all but what if I just wanted to copy this code you know you know I love this website and I come to someone's website you know I love this you know I can copy this right I want to you know copy all of this I want to you know add this in my browser so I just come here view page source okay and yeah now it's gonna be very hard for me because I don't know I don't know where's the footer maybe I want to do the footer 
I don't know where's the footer, you know, I, I'm going to be searching. The code is going to be so big, I cannot even find it. So it's going to be like, you know, like that. Uh, so I, I cannot find it, you know, then after some time, I'll find it. It will take me some time. I will waste hours in finding it. And then you come to this website. When I come here, you know, I come here, I preview the page, page source, and then I... I accidentally did that. Uh, okay. Come here, view page source, and then you know. Oh, I can find the header now. I can. I want to find the footer. So yeah, it is defined for me right over here. So I can do that, right? I can only do that. Uh, I want to find a section. I want to find where's the header. You know, where's the main page? So you know. Now you understand what I mean, right? It makes it more neat and clean. It is very great. Uh, I know right now it looks you know like waste of time to do it, but in the future then you will realize how how important this thing is because right now this is a, such a short this is nothing even compared to you know website that we are making this is just like you know nothing at all when you start making it you need to do this so it makes it neat and now the next thing we're gonna do is we learn about div okay now what is div okay div is the same thing right you know this is a div is the same thing the, the difference between div and all of this is this is from HTML, you know, this header, footer, aside, section, this name is from uh, HTML, you know, this, all of these names are from HTML, you know, all of these names are uh, from HTML and you can't change it. So what you do is you can use a div. You can use a div and you can make your own names, you know, maybe you want to make some other names, you know, for header, you don't want to say header, maybe you want to say uh, uh, the front page, you know, when, when in the end, you know, you don't want to say footer, you want to say end of the page, you know, something like that. So you can do that, right? So for that, you use class or ID attributes. So for that, use that to do that. So let me come here and I can do that with the header. So I'll do with this ugly one because it doesn't have. So I can just say div. So what's the difference? The difference is right now it is done for, you know, header is given by, you know, the name is given by HTML, it's all done for you, but I don't want the name header, you know, I don't like, I don't like the name header. I want people to find a more easier word to understand my page. So I can just say div class, class, I can say class, div a class, what do I want to name it? You make it second front page, front page, I can say front page, and then I can close the div, right? And then I can make the closing div over here, control X. You know the thing with div is you can do anything you want you know i can say here it's all about your imagination what you want to name it you know say class you know, say trash you know maybe uh, you know trash the comes to my website you can you see that and then I can say, you know, I can name it anything I want, you know. My notes, no, my notes. I can say my notes. Okay. And I can say, you know, so I can Random notes, random notes. And the thing about this is that when you define this thing, you can also define that in CSS, right? Because that's how you also do CSS, right? Remember, like I taught you how you also do CSS because you have to give an ID or a name and it's automatically gonna come. So whenever, you know, maybe this, I want to change the color of all of this. So what I do is come here, I make a CSS file. I'll call it need, uh, just say ugly or CSS, ugly dot CSS. Do that, you have to link it. Um, okay. I think I'll link it. I have to link 
it. Okay. So this was the code, right? I actually kind of forget this code, you know, because I usually copy it from somewhere. So it's better if you learn the code, but I usually like don't learn it. I just copy it from somewhere. So you, this is something which you know you have to link uh, when you need for linking uh, this thing with this. So I want to link this with agree.css. So I'll say here agree.css. So I hope you guys also know this whenever you want to link something with this. So you just say here this link Reddit style sheet and you have to only the thing you have to change is href. Uh, by changing href you have to just give the name of the CSS file that you want to link with. And that's gonna work. So what I was trying to say is this right now, this thing over here, it can also work in CSS because right now the notes I'm making it will also work in CSS. I can just say dot because class we use dot and for that we use um oh, this one. okay. It's better you don't put like uh, like you know spaces behind it. Yeah, so because you have to do this stuff then it's, it's like annoying. So I just do this and then I can say maybe I want the background color or I can say color. Color yellow. Yellow, okay, color yellow. And it's going to be linked, okay. So it's already linked right now. Okay, already linked. So right now, what I'll do right now is make another one over here. Div, and I can say some funny thing. You know, maybe I can say uh, have fun. Okay, you can give that div. And equal Z. Okay. So right now, let's go to ugly.html. Right now, it was very ugly, you know, it didn't have anything. So now it's all comes to my home. So you can see right now, see it was linked, so now it became yellow. And if I want to read pure source, you can see, you know, front page. Okay, this is, a front, this is trash. Okay, I don't want to see this. Okay, I want to see this. I want to copy this. Okay, random notes. Okay, oh, have fun copying my code. So, okay, so now you get the idea, right? This is what the tags are for. Okay, is there any doubts? There, there must not be any doubts for this because this is the most simple thing that I have already thought. So, I'm looking at the chat box. Is everyone clear now? Rayan, uh, save uh, uh, other people. You guys are clear? Save Omar. Omar, are you clear? Okay. Someone answer me. Come on. We, I think the problem about this class is this class is not interactive because you guys don't, you just close your mic and I don't think so. That's good. So just come on, just talk to me. You know, are you guys scared or something? Just don't be scared. You know, I want this class to be interactive. So I don't want you to talk in the chat box. I want you guys to open your mic and then talk. You know, it's better. It's more interactive. You know? Uh, but it's your choice, you know. But next time, you know, I want you guys whenever Drop you want. Drop one by one. From start from Ryan. Yeah. Okay. We'll ask. Unmute Ryan and let's yeah. Okay. Talk with him directly. Okay. There's only one chapter left, but okay. Omar. Abdul Omar, either you finish or they are. This about the new unit. Either you say interaction carry on. Okay. So right now we have finished the topic. Right now, so the assignment is. Okay. Okay. The problem is the problem is I have given you assignment about life. Remember, guys. I want everyone to open their mics, please. Okay. Everyone, please open their mics. I mean, okay. Okay. Listen. Uh, what I'm trying to say is that I gave. Uh, uh, okay. So there's only one kid left. Okay. Whatever. But I gave you, you know, project on life. Remember the life project, Ryan. Yeah. Uh, you didn't do that? Oh, yeah. I forgot. It's I, fine. It's actually the fine. The image back found. Okay, the so, HTML wasn't connecting with the CSS. Okay. What my task is that uh, 
you finish your image project and that's it you show me so today i'm not going to give you an assignment and to anyone you know so today i'm giving you a holiday okay so i just wanted to complete all the stuff that i have given you the past assignments and if you done that so you're ready to go so i want to ask did anyone have any doubts right now today today we learned that how to make you know a nav bar with graphical things and how to uh, make a nav bar with graphics you know by having pictures and how to make your code look better okay so is there any doubts safe are you no no, no there is no doubt okay alhamdulillah you're understanding you know because it's very weird because we did not do teach you class two, and I'm happy that you're understanding. And I'll inshallah do maybe Sunday or Monday. I'll do class with you, which will cover all the topics from two, three, four. So just tell me what time you free, okay? Yeah. So any doubts? Um, Rayan? no. Rayan? Well, bits <laughs> with the life, the image thing. Yes, about uh, which one? Wait, the image thing, we installed Team Viewer, but yeah. they, it says you have to put some kind of code in. Yeah, you have to. No, uh, you don't have to put the code. The thing is, you have to give me that code so I can, I uh, even I have a Team Viewer. So this is how it works. Your computer gives you a code. So if you give me that code, I can automatically come to your computer and I can interact with you. It's like that. So yeah, you just give me the code uh, that you have. So I can, you know, interact with you and see what other problem was, okay? But I don't have any code. There's no code in my mail. Or do team I? Where? No, just go in the team where, uh, just open the app and it's automatically going to give you a code. That's it. Okay. I don't see any automatically code. It just says, enter your part, Akna's ID in order to control the remote computer. Yeah, is it giving an ID or something? So I, so I give you my ID? Yeah, you give me an ID so that I can control your computer from there. That's what you do. Wait a minute. Yeah. I don't know the ID. Oh, okay, computer. it's fine. You know, next time uh, we'll, I'll try to figure it out. But, you know, okay. So about, okay. So we're saying the picture thing, right? Let me open the that project that I said was here so you had to doubt with the background picture that that was covering the full page yes in the live thing i have a doubt out with the background picture and the touches thing i okay this one right uh the background picture and and what yeah and about what which one adding my touches i don't have any have to connect it with CSS, right? I told you. I know, but I I, I copied like this. I copied the CSS code and the, and the HTML code. Put it in, put it in separate folders. X. So what you can do is like like come here to CSS and you can change like you you, you know you can just do a, a color. You can just change the font size or anything. You know you can do that. You know and I was still agree with it. You know it's fine. I know, uh, you know, it's fine, you know, and about the background thing, uh, you have, see what I did right now in here was I linked the body with here to the body over here, okay, body is over here, so I did the body over here and it gave a background image, okay, so now whenever I put a background image, for example, I'll show you right now, the problem is that, the problem is that, that when I put background image like that, this is what it does it doesn't completely come you know it doesn't actually completely come uh i don't know how to tell you but it does not come properly it doesn't come properly when i put a background image right what it's doing is actually repeating itself you know whenever i put like there's only one image then it repeats itself you know it, it's repeating like like look at this right now one of the slick look at from here it's repeating it's keep on repeating and when I go down, it's going to keep on repeating. So that's why I use this code. I got this from Google. So what it does is covers like the full image, this full image that I had, it covers into the full screen. Otherwise, this this is not like the full image right now. It's like like copying, copying asset. It's not the full image. So that's what I'm doing. So I think you had a doubt about that. 
the thing is even i don't know this code actually if you ask me even i don't know this code i i just searched in the google how to you know uh, get the code for you know to cover your full image and this is what i found and it worked up good so i have been using this for like past month this code i have been you know grabbing this from other other you know other of my projects and pasting it so this is what i do okay so i hope you also you know copy this and you do that because you know it's better if you just copy but you have to understand also and the thing is i understood what it's trying to do so yeah that's you can copy another one okay so is that okay for you now so you give me the image something like that yeah you can have the image right you can get from google so i just search an image from google yeah you can it's your imagination just do whatever you like okay then i just gave you the structure the files that i gave you were just the structure like structure is what i'm talking about is this or uh, the structure you know this is the structure structure is this one you know this is the structure i gave you the structure h1 is a structure all the tags are all the structure all the body i gave you the structure that i linked this with that but if you ask me it's like very easy it's damn easy to understand what i did right now i gave a class you know i have a p tag you know this is what i did this is this is one tag over here the one tag inside what i did i have a tag i give it a class i give it a class p and i come to live.css and i say to live.css hey okay, live.css i want to do something with the tag i want to do something with this tag i want to you know modify it i want to you know uh, make it uh, make something else color so what do i do i say dot p why do you say dot p because you are adding a class when you don't add a class like in the body when you don't add the class you just say body right now you see again like uh, for this i didn't add a dot the dot is something which tells that it has a class for example for header you see right over here right for header it's like dot uh, and for like uh, using a hashtag when you use when you use id instead of you know you can use id a class but better if you use a uh, id but if you use id then you have to say hashtag yes. for a dot you use class and for hashtag you use uh, uh, for a hashtag you use id and for dot you use class okay is that clear guys all i did was did a, i just wrote a p and h1 tag i gave in a class i just gave it in a class i gave it a class like p give it a plus class like p i said dot p and i just add I just they did some creative work with it. I just uh, uh, add color to it, and that's all. And that's all I did. Okay, so that's like really easy. And I made an app. That's all. So is there any doubt now? Okay. Okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. I I'll help you if you have any doubt. You know. Okay. Okay then. Okay, should we stop the class now then? And no doubt, right? Then you need to repeat the previous assignment. And you have to all uh, give me the assignment, okay? Uh, not safe, but uh, Rayan, you, you have to give me the assignment, okay? Okay, see you. Okay. Bye. If you have any doubts, you can tell me, okay? No doubts? Okay, safe and Rayan, okay? Want to end it? Okay. I'll tell my mom for the computer ID thingy. What? Now you said that you wanted my computer ID for the team viewer thing. Yeah. No, it's fine. We can do in another class. You know, right now it's time is up, so we're gonna do another session for you, and we can do that in that. Okay. 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 So, bye everyone. I hope you had fun. So, see you. Okay. I love you.